All right, so we're at June 10th now, and that means Microsoft is going to appear. Yes, and it's not going to be showing off a new console. Yes, for once. <laughs> for once. Uh, or Xbox One X Slim XS. Extra small. It's going to be this big, and it's going to play only games that ain't colors. But seriously, uh, last E3, Microsoft announced Project Scorpio as the Xbox One X. X. Oh, did they get that right? Yeah, Xbox One X. And they also announced the S. Or was it? No, the S was a couple years earlier, yeah. But either way, they, they were basically touting it as the newest and most advanced most console. Most powerful system Ever. That's what well, he said. Phil Spencer saying it like that. Yes, exactly like that. And they've been pretty accurate so yeah. far. Any game that you play on it has gotten better graphics and visuals. Yeah. And all that fun stuff. All the other PR nonsense. Yeah. But it was um, a really big uh, blowout in terms of it's smaller, it's more powerful. We've done all this cool technological stuff. Last year, they not only had all that presentation down pat, but they also showed off a lot of game content. It was hard to follow. They just had so many uh, game trailers, so many exclusives. Exclusives. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> Maybe I will, uh, but world premiere exclusives. I'm waiting. I, I, we're going to count it this year. I want to count, how, count many times how many times Microsoft say says exclusive. exclusive, and I want to be able to figure out where is the line from timed exclusive to you know actually exclusive, where that bleeds together. And I think that we're going to see that from Microsoft a lot, actually, this yep. year, is a lot of, well, you're playing it on the Xbox One X, you're also getting exclusive content. And one thing they're going to be pushing also is their Game Pass. Yeah. That yeah. was a big thing. Yeah, Game Pass is their attempt to allow, essentially create a service rather than just a, say, a gaming platform. We know that a couple of years ago they had Xbox Anywhere, which was, hey, you can play on your PC, you can play on your play Xbox, anywhere you go, buy the system he buy here, you can play it here too. And last year it was about pushing the Xbox One X and pushing the backwards compatibility and the compatibility of boosting and the that's, system. And that's something they're going to keep doing. And they're going to keep on pushing that. And to top it off, this year they're saying, hey, by the way, you don't even need to buy all these games. You can play them right as we, they come out on Game Pass. So, so I expect that actually to be a big push for them. Um, if, if, there's a big, like, if it's a real win for them, they really want to push it. They get some major third parties involved. Yeah. And uh, even games announced now, they could say, and when it comes out, day one, gamer Game Pass, game pass and people will be like, oh my goodness. Yeah. And they and they did, and uh, Sea of Thieves did fairly well, given uh, thanks to thanks to Game Pass game and pass. even State of Decay too. I've heard it had a lot of players on it in a short period of time. And I think I think that's going to definitely help bolster the numbers of their games. But enough about the Game Pass. Let's get to the games, because yeah. remember last E3 they just shot off so many games. Yes, so I and think we're going to see that. So too. we're going to rally through all of these. Yeah. So the first one was leaked. Well, okay, but we kind of saw it coming. Okay, a little bit of st stop here for a sec. There was a, a, a leak, I guess, from Walmart Canada, which is going of to all be a, places, a, which is going to source a lot of the contents in these videos, and among other things. And one of them mentioned a Gears of War five. Well, yeah, then, yeah we, they, we've been hearing that there's, it's been in development for a long time. It's been two years since it's the last since one. Since we saw the last one. And yeah. so it would make perfect sense for this game to come out. Yeah. There's also been a rumor that there's more Gears of War coming. Like there's a spin off or even a tactical game like Halo Wars. I personally am in the line of there being either, a, right now, to be unveiled a spin off game or some sort of, or as you mentioned, the fifth game uh, in the mix. So I think we're going to see at least one or two Gears. The real question is how is it going to go back to the style of the first trilogy, or if it's going to continue with uh, the style of the fifth game? I don't know, I didn't play the, I, I, I didn't play the fourth game. game. The, the four, uh, the, there was actually a lot of locusts in it, so it's actually very similar to the oh, okay. trilogy. Don't think that based on the vertical slice we saw at E3 a couple years ago that it's a completely different experience. It's got a lot of components that were in line with the original trilogy. So we'll see uh, how Gears of War goes. Yeah, It's not Microsoft's biggest IP, but I feel that it's losing ground. I'm talking about Halo. Yeah. Halo is supposed to be their biggest IP, and yeah. it feels like since Halo 4, they seem to have been starting to lose ground with, with the IP. Yeah. I, but, I don't know why I even put this high on the list, Lucas, but I think Halo 6 <laughs> teasers do. A teaser. It's been, and what, three years since they last? No, two, three years since I they think last they showed need, it? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a little while. See, that's the, that's the point I'm getting at, is that we're not, we're not clawing at, at Microsoft saying, give us your next Halo. We're all like, yeah, Halo. Well, because Halo Five was only decent, and Halo and Wars and, Two came out, and that was that was a couple years ago, I think. And then there was even Halo Kart. Oh, there you go. Got it. I no, got it. Money in the pocket. Halo Party. There's also uh, 
There was also the, the Master Chief Collection, which came out and it was not well received because of how poor it was. The Nick code, the code was working. Yeah. So they've been, they've been working on that. In fact, 343 Industries has been working on actually boosting that after a bit of silence on it. So I think uh, they're trying to get back the positive feedback. Because they want to, because when Halo 6 comes out, they want to have a positive reception yeah. for the IP. Yeah. They do have an arcade game coming to David Buster's. Yeah, that, but, that's an announcement. they show that on stage, I don't know. When they do Halo 6, they have to make sure that it is... It's, it is. It is. All the I's yeah. are dotted and all the T's are yeah. crossed because uh, the way it five was was not as yeah. well received. They I, need to be, need to be good on yeah, it. Battle Royale. A Battle Royale. Halo Battle Royale. There you go. No, Money I think repay. I think at the very least we'll see a, te a story teaser. We're gonna we're not gonna see the game. It's gonna say 2019 on it, and then that'll be the end of it. But uh, if it comes up this year, I'll be surprised. What I'm not surprised will happen is t them talking about Sea of Thieves. Yeah, because it, I mean, it's already out though, isn't it? Oh, yes, but because it's a, a, an online game, it really focuses on its updates. And yeah. I know there's an update coming up, or was supposed to be coming up, but they, they can show us, oh, we got, here's what's coming out in the future. Yeah. Like, they, they really need, because I feel that a lot of reviewers said the game was good for a few hours, then all of a sudden it got really repetitive and boring. So they need, really need to step in there and make sure yeah. there's a lot of extra content, and there's new new things to do in the game, and make people come back to the game, yeah. who had previously just said, nah, I've already done this five times. So I think there's a perfect opportunity to keep pushing for the momentum of Sea of Thieves through their press conference. And then we can also expect that, but... This one, we're, we, I was I was unsure about putting it on the list, but then I saw a rumor about it. So, <laughs> um, Cuphead, Cuphead. Um, the, now, yes, the game is out. Don't don't adjust your di that dial. It, it D did came out. It did come out. It did come out. And they haven't. They actually spent part of their press conference show last year showing a small trailer sh announcing its date. Yeah, so it's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. So, but according to a rumor, uh, there's a T-shirt that's going to be on sale for E3 2000. 2018 this year this year and it's a big question mark saying cuphead related and it's like well why are they hiding it yeah why are they hiding the design and then there was discussions that the people behind cuphead were working on either making more content or even making a sequel for it i don't think it's a sequel though it could be a sequel and that would that would blow my mind yeah but it probably could probably is going to be a physical release with new content kind of like a uh, funky con <laughs> Funk, funky con in cuphead yeah can you funky <laughs> But no, I expect more content. Maybe a new, a uh, whole new continent with development. Yeah, continent. I think, like, yeah, I think a new island with some extra boss fights. A new, like, new, new bosses, uh, new character, new maybe. character to play as. And I think that all this is what's all good, a big announcement is going to be for Cuphead. But we've been surprised. Yeah, I think a game of the year edition of Cuphead would be a nice thing to see. A game of the year, uh, yes. This, and that would be a great opportunity. It would be DLC know. for those who have downloaded it, but it would be a retail copy. That reminds me of Sonic, like Sonic Mania Plus, yeah, kind of. Kind actually, of the same almost exactly. They're like called it. Cuphead Plus. If I swear, if it's called Cuphead Plus, I don't know what I'll do with myself. I'll probably forget this even was talked about. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of added content and things that are kind of cube in shape, Minecraft. What does the cube have to do about anything? Uh, his head is, uh, is it cup it's head? a cup shape. Yeah, yes, he is a cup shape. Anyways, Minecraft um, is a big, they spent a lot of money uh, on <laughs> Minecraft. And now what are they going to do with it? Uh, I mean, this, this is the, like the third year they've owned Minecraft? Fourth year? But, what, what are they going to do with Minecraft? I'm, they we don't know. what. The, we're just putting this on this list saying they're going to do something they've, with Minecraft. They've never made it through a conference without talking about Minecraft. E even with the HoloLens, they had Minecraft. They had Minecraft. They're not going to bring the HoloLens back, I no, assure you No, I think the that. HoloLens is done. That's yeah. that's my yeah. prediction on that. They're not doing... Do they even do VR? No, they, is VR a thing? They did? Yes. Is VR, is VR going they, to be a thing? What, didn't one time they show up with the, with the Oculus Rift with the... VR headset. That and they were also showing off with AR as well at one uh, point. But yeah, I know. Either way, we don't know what they're gonna do for Minecraft. They already have Minecraft Story Edition, unless there's a new. No, there's a sequel. story. There's a sequel that's already out or okay. coming out. Um, and, and then there's yeah. There's something Minecraft. It might be a small edition. Maybe you Could go to the moon new... for once or something. Outer, ooh, Outer space, space pack. Space pack. That'd be pretty cool. I know they had some updates recently. I think. Like with water. I mean, I don't. The aquatic, I don't, the aquatic patch. I haven't checked my blog on Minecraft in a while. And uh, so I wouldn't know exactly uh, what they're coming up with, but they're going to be there. Something Minecraft. Something Minecraft. Minecart. <laughs> yeah, Minecart! Mine I got it! Well, I, I have a racing game. It, it's uh, Minecart, but it's not. It's, uh, it's Forza Horizon. Yeah. So, this was, again, another leak. Um, the leak said uh, Forza Cover. Horizon 5, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so thanks a lot, Walmart, for confusing so, us. Yeah, so it's either... We, we, everyone's been basically saying it's probably not... Five, it's probably supposed to be an S. Or, or if it's not that, it's clearly a, a typo because they don't know that there's a four, not a fourth one yet. So either it's Forza Horizon 4, 
or it's for uh, Forza Horizons, which could be like a game of the year collection of the previous games, all remastered to work on the Xbox yes, One X. Yes, the rumor is it could be. Yeah, that's, some people are saying it's going to be just a collection of old games. There's, there's also artwork of China, and there's some artwork of UK out there. So people are maybe thinking it's one of the other. Uh, a lot of speculation up there. Playground Games has done a great job. They shut it off two years ago with uh, Forza Horizon Four. And that was a uh, four, sorry three, and that was Australia. Remember that that yeah, race. That was a really good race racing sequence. Will we see a new car on the stage? I want to say no. They've done it, but I don't think many that I, I don't much like how they have Minecraft appear on stage. I don't think they've ever gone through. A conference, a conference without, without a showing car. a car. And I, I think, didn't like last year's car. No, just, last year's car did not look good. I'm sorry, Porsche. It just didn't look good. I think uh, there was too much activity going on. And I think another Porsche is going to happen because they have a five-year agreement with Porsche. So I think it's about time to see another Porsche. Hopefully, it's not like the B class that they're uh, that they're going to debut for the first time. But um, yeah, Forza Horizon. Uh, that's pretty much a lock at this point. I think a Forza game is is more consistent than a Halo or a Gears of War game. Another lock. <laughs> I don't think this is the lock we kind of wanted to I see. I don't know what we just talked about, but Crackdown 3. We've been, I think we've talked about Crackdown 3 more than Microsoft has <laughs> at this point. Uh, yes, it was supposed to... Well, they had this they revealed, trailer yeah. last year, and it was like, yeah, it's coming out. It didn't look good. So they revealed it, like, officially, like, four years ago. <laughs> then they showed it off two years ago to say, oh, it's about the cloud. You use the cloud. It's the cloud. It's and all then, about the cloud. And then it didn't really work out. And so then last year, and last year, Terry Crews was in it. And he was like, you know, step up your game. You're be dropping bi cars. Next, you'll be dropping buildings or something like that. It was, yeah, it was a lot I mean, crazy. Okay, Terry Crews is a great actor, and he loves to play it up. And that definitely was him playing and that, that up. And that's what I was hoping to see. But then the gameplay Plays, started. And like, like, oh, running around like this. To boom, 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 shooting the gun, and boom, explosions, and that was I. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't. I lost all the zing once the, yeah. once the gameplay started. The game got delayed. It was supposed a to come whole out. Year. It was supposed to come out at the launch of Xbox One X, and then they delayed it into this year. And we've heard rumor, and there was one even. I think it was was Amazon that canceled their pre-orders. I have no idea which. One was. place canceled their pre-orders, thinking uh, everyone's like, oh, they, they delay it again or cancel it. But then they went on and said no. It, they didn't do it. They didn't mean to. They're hard at work. They're hard at work. And uh, I'm expecting to see it again. Except <laughs> okay. this time with a more concrete more concrete release date and release date content. And, uh, hopefully the... Battle the, Royale. There you go. They, that, that's what they Battle did. Royale. Oh, also, uh, Ian, this is a question for you. What's well, the duo in this room? Unless someone else is here. Will it open the conference? No. <laughs> <laughs> just a hard, just, just, that, just that was a very short period of time. Just no. Just no. Another game that was the last. It was the, year. La it was the last game beside that was right before Anthem. It was the last revealed game. And for me, it's a beautiful looking game. Ori, Ori and the Will, Will of the Wisps. Wisps. I'm like, we saw only a trailer for it. It wasn't a gameplay. It was just a, just a cinematic trailer. It was a little just a trailer. And you're like, as soon as you saw the artwork, you're, you're like, like, oh, what's this is Ori? Oh, I know Ori. where this is going. It's Ori. Who and died? Who? Wait, where's the sad part? There's the sad part. I see. And there's a spider. No, there was a spider in the trailer. Oh, you scared me. I hate you. <laughs> Anyways, but yes. So now we can actually see gameplay. Um, just there. Yeah. I just, don't think. I don't think we're gonna have a gameplay. The game demo. sells think, itself. Yeah. Ori in the Blind Forest was really good, and this looks like. Hopefully, it's more of the same. More of it. Yeah, I just more. I expect a release. Yeah, I'm hoping a release date was given. They didn't even say a year last time. So it's either early next year or they just didn't want to tell us because they just want to unveil the title. Just, just give us gameplay just, and then yeah. move on because we, we got this game unlocked. I mean, yeah, they, they know they got it. Okay, so this one might be a bit of a stretch. Um, there's a rumor going around. Oh, there is. That Playground Games, the guys I just mentioned who are making Forza Horizons mm -hmm. or whatever, uh, that they're making a new Fable game. That they're bringing Fable back after years, only a few years since after they closed Lionhead, after they canceled and closed Lionhead Studios. I think it was their problem. They should have like, kept the company open just mm. to make more Fables. I think they tried to, to push that game so much and it just didn't work out. They it just didn't it. work. I think I'm on the fence with this one. I think they they might show it, but I also now that I mentioned that Forza is going to be there and there's you know Gears of War and Halo. Teaser? I think a teaser would be nice, but I also don't know if that's even worth their time. They're, they're going to push a lot more third-party games, I think. If I, I have, I'll say that if they say anything about Fable, I'll be surprised. Yeah. I think Fable is kind of a, a put it away and don't talk about it. Yeah, I'll put that in as one of our big potential things. I think if they announce a new Fable, that would be great to see. 
Um, but I think uh, fa you know Playground Games has been given a lot of positivity internally, I'm sure, for the Forza Horizon series. So I think it's about time that they let Turn 10 keep working on their side of Forza, and then maybe they got big enough to be able to do kind of like their own thing with Forza Horizon, and then I'll now build up a new version of Fable that Lionhead couldn't do with Fable Legends. So, I think everyone can outdo Fable Legends. Well, I mean, it's not out. So if you release <laughs> if, you, if you release a game using click and play, you're going to get something better than what was Fable Legends at the time. At this point, that may be sad all of a sudden. And I mentioned Anthem. We did mention Anthem. Okay, yeah, I mentioned all the first party games. These are the, the third party games that I think are going to show. Anthem. Uh, Anthem will definitely be here. Because it's a big push for Microsoft. This is their Destiny Killer. This is their Destiny Killer, and Sony clearly has got that unlocked. So, yeah, Anthem's going to show. Uh, I don't... Uh, we had discussed in the E3 Eos video that we thought maybe we are going to see a trailer then and maybe a demo here. But you also seem like a demo there might also be more inclined. Well, I think we might see a story reveal in EAs more like a, and show off more like a, make a trailer. Yeah. And then we actually see the gameplay shown off in Microsoft. Yeah, I I, I've, I've already come to that conclusion. In, in the moments we've been writing these videos, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know it just seems it's, like it's, it's, it's it's it makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely sense. going to push it for it. Another thing we, that we've seen in EA's conference that we're going to see now is the Battlefield 5 single player. Battlefield 5? Yeah, because they already going to have the, the multiplayer elements of Battlefield 5 in the yes. previous day. So now they can actually just, uh, kind of like, again, because Sony has, has Call, of Duty. Call of Duty, they're going to take Battlefield. Yes. So it, this is, we're going to see this, 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 the divide here. Yeah. We're going to see, and they're going to push and say it's better on Xbox One X. Of course. They're going to say everything's better on Xbox One X. They're going to say, oh, you probably should get the PS4 Pro for this one. <laughs> we're we're just pretty that certain one, that just that one game. We think the Frostbite engine kind of doesn't doesn't do very well on this system. No, I'm not going to say that. Not at all. One game that we've been hearing a lot about and rumors about and people saying it's got to be uh, is Splinter Cell. Yeah. And uh, because the uh, Microsoft usually has an unveil for Ubisoft. Ubisoft, yeah, because last year they did Assassin's Creed. Creed. This time it just comes off to me as just the expected thing. You know, Splinter Cell has been rumored for some time, and they even gave a hint of Splinter Cell in the new Tom Clancy Wildlands DLC that happened a while back. So, or Ghost Recon Splinter Wildlands. And Splinter Cell didn't it start on the Xbox? Oh it? yeah, that was the that game that game came out around the same time as Metroid Prime did, and I recall that because uh, that was what helped my Xbox kind of pull further from the GameCube sales and become kind of a staple on the Western market. Uh, so that's so seeing so seeing Splinter Cell revived on would definitely make sense in a Microsoft yeah, conference. Mm -hmm. I think unlike what they did last year with Assassin's Creed where they had a full demo, I think they're just going to have a teaser trailer for this year. I think they're going to have yeah, uh, they're the, let Ubisoft do let, the work. Let Ubisoft have this one. Um, but this game we saw also, we saw, the next game we saw last year also, yeah. it was Metro. Exodus. Yeah, yes. Metro uh, Exodus. And that was, again, it seemed Very like beautiful game. Oh, it looked beautiful. I didn't know if that was gameplay or not. I couldn't it, tell. It was supposed to be gameplay. But I think it was also. Like, I'm a little skeptical. Of that. <laughs> you think that would? You think it's ready to be shown in a, like another form? You think? A, you think a trailer or a full demo would, would will suffice? I for this? think. It, I think they're actually going to have to show. Like, if, if it's gameplay, show it to me. Because <laughs> uh, right now, I think what they showed before was was was, was just was no. just a set piece. It was a one big. Uh, put together yeah thing. I think a story trailer at the very least will help this out because this there's no publisher for I mean Metro Exodus doesn't have a, like its own press conference so this would be when they blow it out for audience to see unless they intend to show it at the PC it gaming it should show. be out this year I, that's the speculation so, <laughs> that's, that's what they're saying okay well then just, why would blow they show it out it off? Start launch the launch uh, start the show with Metro Exodus let's see let's see what happens no it's not gonna start with Metro Exodus now you put this one here yes you really think it's going to show up? It's a, it's I, I'm leaning on a 40 30 percent chance right now. Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. So you do you really think this is going to show up here? If it's going to show, it's going to show here because why not the PC one? Uh, I mean, they'll they'll probably do a trailer here and show it more deeply at the PC gaming show. Uh, if they want to make a splash, maybe the PC maybe the PC gaming show paid more money for it. But right or but, Microsoft. Yeah, but they yeah. want. But if they're really wanting, Mike, I think that there was rumors that uh, that Microsoft was getting some really good marketing dollars thrown at this game, as well as other games on the. So list it would definitely, it would definitely be. It would definitely conference. be here if they were. And that would be the, the showstopper. I think that would be the, the the last game that they discuss. Like, yes, guys, we have something less to leave you with, and thank you for coming. And it's the trailer for for Cyberpunk 2077. That, yes. that you're right. That, that that would be a good smack, a good final uh, ending. Yeah, that. that would it. That would be the zinger. Unless they want to sell us an anthem <laughs> again. They want. Oh, here we go again. Yay, let's do some loot. Let's do some loot.
And also the Age of Empires game, if they're making one, it's going to be shown at the PC Gaming Show. Because Microsoft shows up there, as opposed to Sony and, and Nintendo. So that'll be interesting to see if they come out with anything else to uh, support their PC side of things. So let's talk about our thoughts of what the big theme of the show is before we get to our big guesses. Okay. What's a, what's a, what's a big game? Of the sh big theme, I think, is going to be... Huh... Better on Xbox One X. I mean, we, we that was last year. No, probably. last time was get ready for the most powerful console. This is like, basically it's going to show off all these games and say, listen, we have all the same kind of games that Sony has, except they're better. Yeah. And they're on our system. Yeah. And they may be multi-platform, but they run better on the Xbox One X. And then and that's that, really yeah. what they're going to be driving home. Is this Everything you see here is better and bigger, yeah, bigger and better on the Xbox One X and... And they're gonna put a little asterisk at the end of that and say, or if you don't really want to pay that much money, you got Game Pass. That, that's that more, is, also backwards compatibility is gonna really be a big thing. I forgot something on this list. Oh, let you forget. Does PUBG have a chance of showing up on stage again? It was there last year. It was a big reveal and it was a I, big get for them. I, I know it was a big get, but unfortunately, people have moved on. But do you think PUBG, because they're exclusive on Xbox One as, on the console side, I think they could they, reveal a new map. They, they might reveal something. For them, they, they have to. Something. They, they they paid money. For they paid that. money for that game. They better show up somewhere. Uh, much like Minecraft, they kind of have to show up. Minecraft pub. Minecraft PUBG. Yeah, there you Minecraft go. Minecraft Battle Royale. Ah, if that happens, well, there's a few things I've already said. If that happens, so I don't, I can't really comment on that. So there we go. All I right. Think, I think actually, if you think about it, I think Minecraft already is PUBG. I need to think about it's it. It's already a battle royale. Okay. So now for our big guesses. Yes. What is your big guess? A so big guess means something that probably isn't happening. If it happens, I'll happen. be I'll be excited for yeah. it. And so for me, my big guess is the revival of Perfect Dark. Yeah, I mean, people. There was a, a vague, probably not real, rumor that the Coalition or, or even E4343 E4, were actually working on a Perfect Dark kind so, of prototype. So I am not saying that Rare is making it because no, Rare, Rare is, is not working on it. Sea of Thieves. I'm saying Perfect Dark. And then just a new perfect dark. dark is coming. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be campy? It better be campy. Like it has to be cool, but it has to be like if she has to say something like. Heck, even if like they that. even if they go the only way of saying, hey, we by the way we we remade perfect dark. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we remade it again. This it's time from the ground we up. Got, we got Blue Point. We, we stole them from Sony. We, we're going to make them make this game instead. If it's even any any basically, if I see anything perfect dark. Yeah, I get this. You get that, yeah. Mine is the. I think I've done this every year at this point. I keep seeing the picture. It's probably a Battletoads. I'll say it. It's right, Battletoads. What's with. Yeah, my saying this with all the rare franchises, and they're not even a Banjo Kazooie this year. We have not. We are done with Banjo Kazooie. We're like, I'm saying. Is we're, not, we're not saying Banjo Kazooie because. Um, who, 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 would, who, who would make it? <laughs> Who would, who, would make who, would yeah. who would make Battle Who would make Battletoads? I don't know. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe the developers of Killer Instinct are gonna make a gritty reboot. Gritty reboot. I hate those combinations of words. Anyway, so that's our Microsoft discussion. Yes. Uh, after this, we're gonna do Bethesda to wrap up our Sunday-based gaming events predictions. <laughs>